Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. This is episode 13. Last time we went and explored more of Leonia. At least that was our attempt before we ended up down a river well. And we ended up underground in Ainsel River. And we spent most of our time navigating this specific region. Um, but we hit a roadblock and we were not able to do the rest. Uh, so our current train of thought is that there is another well here that might allow us to get in to the back there by studying the map. Uh, and then we met Turtle Pope. And that was the highlight, obviously. Because we met Turtle Pope. And it doesn't get any better than that. Uh, and a really interesting point, a really cool thing about the lore surrounding the Church of Vows and how it goes into talking about uh, Radagon and Renala is this church is set right in the middle. Well, not right in the middle, but it's set in the view of Rhea Lucaria, where Renala is, and the Erd Tree, which represents Radagon, the second Elden Lord. And it was a very cool amount of lore that we got from our pal here. And this is the church where we can go to request absolution uh, if we have uh, strained or severed any ties with with those in the world of the lands between. Of course, we are a paragon, total angel, <laughs> and we have not. Uh, need, we did not need to request absolution. We're doing okay. So we're at the Church of Vows. No Melina. No talking to Melina still, unfortunately. Um, but we have a couple of things on our to-do list here today, which is go and check out if this is a well and work our way up this region of Leonia uh, to check out the, the black knife print detailing uh, on this part of the map. And then, you know, eventually we'll actually <laughs> check out Rhea Lucaria itself. So, let's go and get on our horse and take a journey. I'm thinking, considering this was one of the first things on our sort of to-do list, is we'll take a, a little bit of a gander over there. We've got another cave that we can check out for some smithing stones. But let's take a... Let's take a little gander in this adventure and we'll see what we can... We'll see what we can find. We'll see what we can find. We've got a lot of, you know, for lack of a better word, I'm just going to call them hollows. We've got a lot of hollow soldiers uh, walking alongside the map. Ooh, right, hang on. Where's that going off to? That's on the way to the Erd Tree. Okay, actually, perhaps I should be... I think I need to go down and around. There we go. Let's go down and around. And I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead! I actually thought I would die there. <laughs> I was like, oh! I thought I died. Let's have a look. What are these? Oh, cool! The old palace ruins. Because under here... Um, is the Ool Palace Ruins. Ool and Ould Palace Ruins. Okay. Oh, these are like the the spirit warriors from Shiofra. Except not the spirit versions. They're the they're physically tangible and real. Yeah, it's their real form. Wow. Dwelling arrows and thin beast bones. Nice. Okay, so we've already encountered their spiritual counterpart um, underground here. This is a different, different space. There being more hunter gatherers here. And I'm going to quickly try and dispatch them. Quickly try and dispatch them. Whoa, that's a big arrow in me right now. Where are you? Where's that? You up there? Wait, where the fuck? I'm trying to... Where did the direction of the arrow come from? Oh! 
There it is. <laughs> There's another one. Where did the direction of the arrow come from? Allow myself to get hit again so I can see. God, the fucking arrows are hilarious, dude. I think I'm safe to stand here. Yep. Alright, I got a headband. Great horned headband. New clothing unlocked. Headband decorated by a pair of great horns worn by ancestral follower warriors. The ancestral followers keep their distance from the Erd tree, awaiting new buds. They are certain to sprout from their very flesh and indeed their souls. Ah, yes. The old horns. Why does it look like I have a, like a twirling moustache but only on one side? Is that blood on my face? It is. It looks like I have one, like half of one of those moustaches that I can twirl. From a distance, it's like, that's exactly what it looks like. Alright, got my big horns, guys. Let's go. Big horned turtle samurai. Charging in to get stabbed with a giant arrow. At the perfect time of day, when the light peeks in. Look at that change. Look at that change. Where the hell is... Ah, there you are. This is what that is. Broken... Broken statue. Okay. Alright, well I need to get up there so I can dispatch this... ...fool who is trying to shoot at me. Um, how do I get up there? Looks like a, this is a situation where I have to go down and around to get there, so I'm gonna go this way. Well, this just opens up. Okay. I'm like, I'll pick a direction. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'll pick a direction. And then I end up going like, well, no. Because now there's even more pathways available to me. Right, I'm glad we're doing this in the daytime. Otherwise, this would be terrifying. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so that's the statue thing on the map. So I can go up here. To get to them, apparently, according to the map. Instructions unclear. It's actually very no, actually it's very dark down here. I'm like, ah, oh, cool that it's daytime. Meanwhile, I still have to do this. The shadows are really intense. Okay, the map has lied. The map has lied to me. Up and around here, maybe instead. Do not stress, because I know that there is a multitude of directions that I am able to go in in this area, so I will try my best to stay in it. Hello, Mr. Bear. I'm going to let you be. This is your forest. I respect it. I am simply passing through. Looking for a way up is not really working out for me. Now, well, now I'm headed straight to where I was trying. Okay. Now I'm headed straight to where we've been trying to go. I guess we'll we'll come back. We'll come back for the minor Erd tree and those lovely ancestral followers, won't we? We'll come back. Uh, okay, we got someone guarding the spot. I'm just trying to look because I wonder if there's a way that we can get up there because there's a nice building up there too. Oh no. Oh! Hang on a minute. You're not what I thought you were. Hold on. No head. No head. You know what that makes me think of? Our... It is. That's, that's Lutel the Headless. The spirit of Lutel the Headless. Spirit of a headless knight who leads the mausoleum soldiers, wields a lance enrobed in death and hurls spectral lances at foes. Lutel sacrificed her life so that in death she could continue to protect a soulless demigod until their revival, earning her the hero's honor of Erd Tree Burial. Okay, so in death she could continue to protect a soulless demigod. Which, you know, goes into whole this whole black knife stuff with, you know, the black flame that can hurt and kill gods, and that's what happened. So this is... Okay. 
Also the ability of teleportation and also look at that look at that sigil. Look at that sigil on the shield. We've seen that before. I don't know if this is exactly Lutel because I'm not I'm not thinking that that's a spectral lance. That's more of a big ass sword. So this might be like another headless knight instead that just is like of the same sort of group. Now. Yeah, it's doing that vitality damage. That's literally the Dark Souls 3, like, Eclipse Dark Sign. <laughs> what are you doing, bud? Whoa, that's a bit of a... That's a bit of a jump forward, wasn't it? Oh, you gonna guard counter me. Cheeky fuck. That's what I should be doing, hey. <laughs> I was like, that's what I should be doing. All right. Card counters. Dude, that... Ooh, the body stays. I was expecting it to fade. Interesting. Um... Yeah, okay. This place is protected. Why did I go from the top? <laughs> Why did I go from the top? Huh. Oh, good. <laughs> like, huh. Walls of rock. There must be a door around here. Bellum Highway. Like, there must be a door or something around here. Is this catacombs though? Oh, okay. Black Knife Catacombs. Okay. Bellum Highway must be up here, and it's just glitched me there, that location. Got very con confused that it gave me the location before I was even in the door. The Black Knife Catacombs. Alright, so we we mapped it out correctly based on the little piece of paper that Fear gave us. So there's something that we need in here to bring back and show uh, to our lovely friend, um, Rogier. I think we need to show to Rogier. So let's rest at the side of grace so I can have my eight flasks. Full shebang. Let's go down and take a look. Alright, now I know that this is going to be an easier room to deal with. Every time I've entered the catacombs with skulls, it's been a it's been a problem. I'm just going to quickly fix something with my microphone. It looks like it's registering weirdly on the audio, but it might just be a weird OBS glitch. Um, give me a sec. I'm just gonna fix that. All right, I think I've fixed it. Just sometimes I see my microphone randomly spiking. Sorry to pull you out of that, and I just I just get worried if my if there's something, you know, going wrong on the back end that I won't know about until I'm trying to edit, and then I'm like, oh, my voice is ruined, or some random crap like that. But it's okay. It's okay, we push on through the catacombs. And we face off against skeletons that we can actually kill. That's right, boy. Style. Oh god, they rollies. They got rollies. Ooh, and stance broken. <gasps> God, that was like a jump scare. Whoa! Whoa, who the fuck is... Whoa! Hello, you're not a skeleton. Oh, are you like powering up the skelly boys? Because they're on fire. You can die now, please. I don't want you in my life. Oh shit, that skeleton died immediately. Is this, so is this a necromancer situation? 
Is this a necromancy situation? <sighs> gotta do it. Gotta do it. I've got a key. This is what I've been buying the keys for, boy. This is what I've been buying the keys for. Alright, now are you going to come back to life? You are going to come back to life. Oh! Classic. Okay. So, maybe... Maybe there were just skeletons that are related to that dude with the staff that died immediately. You can never tell with these fucking skeletons, you're like... I've done so much theorizing about how to kill these fucking things. I can't! I can't even lock on! Oh my god. Alright, you need to get out of this corner because I cannot kill you otherwise. Ouch. I need you to get out of the corner. Because otherwise I can't kill you, apparently. Alright. Okay, I can still kill you. Couldn't even lock onto him to get his health bar before. Rosus's axe. We got an axe, baby. Looks like a special one too. Look at that. Look at that curved blade on the axe. Usher of Death, Rosus, who shows the path to the catacombs throughout the lands between, is depicted on this ritual axe. Oh. The dead easily lose their way and have always been in sore need of a guiding hand. Unique skill, Rosus's summons, raises the axe aloft to summon those lost in death. Three skeletons will appear at a distance and attack in tandem before vanishing. That's cool. Usher of Death, Rosus. So it's depicted on the ritual axe. I'm trying to see if it's like angled or something like that. Cool. Moments like that when we get a unique item I always consider to be worth it. Okay. <laughs> this is a this is a Dark Souls area. <laughs> Confirmed. Oh, and with arrows. Oh, this is yeah. Thank you, Miyazaki. Thank you. Hang on, how does this ship... Okay, so it... Goes down, and then it slowly comes up? Okay, goes down, and then it slowly comes up. Ow. Why are you coming back up? Why are you coming back up? What the fuck? Why are you coming back up? What the fuck? Oh, ah! <laughs> is it because they're powered up? Is it because they've got the black flame? So I need to find the random dude with the fucking... I need to find a dude with a staff. And tell him to shut up. Ugh. I think this guy's fine to kill, because he doesn't have the black flame. Where's the dude with the black flame? Right, I'm just gonna leave them be. Skeletons are just... They, they play by their own rules. What are you... Okay, we got crabs. We got crabs with maggots on them. Terrible combination. Oh, He's just eating her... He's just eating his little flower. STOLEN, you fucking crab! STOLEN! <laughs> Look at him munching on the flowers! I need to get over there. There's a statue there. Oh, f of course. Of course. Fucking crab. You know what's funny? Considering that these are the exact crabs from Dark Souls 3, you think I'd be better at fighting crabs. I'm not. I'm not better at fighting crabs. So I refuse to fight them. What the fuck? Oh! Where'd the fucking second crab come from? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, where did the second crab come from? He came out of nowhere. Okay. <laughs> 
getting just smacked in the face from a crab from behind. I'm like, all right then. You know what? For a black knife catacombs, I expected something different. But okay. Oh, that, that enemy out the front of the catacombs respawns. I mean, there's black flame in here, and I guess that's... That's really it, isn't it? Alright, where's this guy? There you are. There's one. Ow. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna die. <laughs> ah! He fucking curving around the curving around the environment like that. I have to make it back to my stuff and live to tell the tale. Alright. So there's gonna be two crabs. Um, I'm assuming it comes out of the floor here. Oh, okay. Okay, crabs. I came down here for a runok. Where's that fucking other crab at? What the f- Oh, there it is. Okay. Bye. I'm gonna let those crabs go about their business for a sec. <laughs> oh, you're mad. Okay. Are they gonna leave me alone? Probably not. So there's a gate in there. Okay, they're not gonna fuck. okay. I don't know if they're gonna diagra or not. He's still there. Why is he just... Oh, I, be I got picked up. That's fine. Yep. I got picked up apparently. Okay. Two of them. Why did they do this to me? Oh! <sighs> Fucking crabs, dude. Alright, there's one. First try. No problem, crab. Strip of white flesh and crab eggs. Okay. Perfect. Crabs are crabs are no problem to me. Easy. What is truly the puzzle of the age is this. Is gate that houses the lever that I need to pull to open the thing. There's a lever on the other side that opens this gate, so... There is a entrance that we have completely missed, I think. A way across? Let's have a look. There must be a pathway in here that we... Oh, there's a... Oh! It makes sense why we can ride this now. Oh shit. It makes sense. That was not just a funny... That was not just a funny haha -ha thing. That was a... We can actually do this thing. Oh! Fucking hell! That's where our black flame dude is. Nice. Just gotta look up. That's cool. And then... oh god. You kill... one... there you are. You kill one and then there's another one. Get out of here! Alright, so now these guys die, right? Okay. So the black flame ones are tied to... the dudes with the black flame staffs. They're, so they're kind of necromancers, but not really. But kind of. God, these watchdogs. Catacomb watchdogs, man. 
terrible. They do it a lot, doing a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That was a great dodge on my part. That was a very well timed dodge. That dude is smacking me with that bow. He's like aggressively like. I fucking hate skeletons. I have no health. Please leave me be. We're making it through this now. With no health. Hmm. I feel like that's just going to drop me in that crab room, but it might be on the side. Yeah, okay. But it's going to drop me on the side that I need to be on. <gasps> we finally found our first fucking illusory wall. Dude! Yes! <laughs> oh, and it's the it's a boss. We finally found our first illusory wall. They exist. They exist. Oh my god! I was like, look, there's a wall at the end here. We'll slice it before we go down. Holy fuck! I don't have health to go through that right now, so we have to do it. This we have to do this. Fuck yeah! Okay, nice. <laughs> Yes! It actually fucking worked. Holy shit. Somewhere a heavy door has opened. Alright, so that's the door to the main catacombs boss, but there's another one. No. No. I need to quickly get this gate open. Now I don't kind of, Now it's okay if I die. It's okay if I die now. Because I did what I came here to do. Heavy door is open. This is open. Perfect. Um, now we go back. I can just go back. Oh no, I can't. Fast travel. Cannot fast travel right now. Okay. Let us... Oh, I don't even know if I'll make it through this room. Oh no, we've killed all of the... Uh, we've killed all of the... Two bosses in these catacombs, that's cool. Hello there, sir. Just passing through, please. Okay. Now we're just gonna make a straight up. Oh, I think I might be able to level up. Hang on, let me let me ingest a rune so I don't have to worry about running out uh, or getting my runes back. I meant to ingest a little more than just one of those, but that's okay. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> it was a hundred short. Gotta do the maths. Gotta do the better maths next time. There we go. Is that enough? Which boss should we do first? We should do the we'll do the main boss because he's right in front of us. Psych. Let's go do the other one. Let's go find this illusory wall. And not only is it an illusory wall, uh, it's an illusory wall boss. An illusory wall boss. We ain't seen something like that before. Is that a thing that's been in ga games before? Oh, uh, yeah. It's not the first time that that's happened. There's also... It's in Dark Souls 3. It goes to a whole new area. Is that 
hidden illusory wall that goes all the way to um, this. Oh, I can't remember the name of it now. Can't even remember the name of it. Uh, but it goes through to like Champion, Champion Gundia, and you know the Firelink Shrine. That place. Oh, there's a summon sign here too. <gasps> D, Hunter of the Dead. Oh, that's cool. Okay. This feels like this is going to be a story related story related thing. Let's bring this let's bring this man in. Let's bring in the D. This man's about to get a healthy dose of D. What is this? Oh, it's another black- Oh, yes! It's another black knife assassin! Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Whoa, and you're strong, too. Dude, D with that holy sword, though? He's doing, like, nothing to him, either. I'm doing all of the damage. <laughs> oh, man. What was that boss that we... There was a boss that we faced uh, that didn't look like this, but it, I'm pretty sure that was also a Black Knife Assassin, I think. Damn, I missed my chance to do big damage there. This music for just for this black knife assassin. Holy shit. Whoa, nice work, bud. Finish him off. I'll do the I'll do the rest from here, bud. Cheers. Assassin's Cerulean Dagger. Black knife print. Nice. And D walks off. We have to go check in with D, because D and Rogier are friends. They're both hunters of the dead. And this this allows us to return. This allows us to return to the entrance. That's a hidden fucking boss. What the hell? That should be the main boss of the dungeon. That's crazy. Now I have to go check all the other catacombs. What if all the other catacombs have illusory walls that lead to hidden bosses? Maybe we should go... Because there was... We've faced off against one of these before. Because we got a talisman that was related to it. We got the Assassin's Crimson Dagger. Where critical hits restore HP, this one restores FP. Um, I should go... Maybe I should go back to the catacombs. For where we find this guy. Those who gave the demigods their first taste of death. Alright, well, I may as well return to the start of the dungeon. I'll return to the entrance because the main boss is uh, straight ahead of there. And then we'll see. Is it just gonna be another is it just gonna be another black knife? Is it just gonna be another black knife assassin? Oh, let's have a read of that item that we got, a key item, which I think is what we need to take back to either Fear or Rogier. The Black Knife Print. The mark of the Night of the Black Knives ritual. On the Night of the Black Knives, someone stole a fragment of death from Malaketh, the Black Blade, and imbued its power into the Assassin's Daggers. This mark is evidence of the ritual and hides the truth of the conspiracy. Ah, oh, okay. Considering we we got that from the main from the hidden fight, what are we going to get from this fight then? Because I was fully expecting you go in the catacombs, defeat the boss, then you get the thing for like the thing for Rogier, but that was hidden. It's hidden quite obviously, though. To be fair, all right, cemetery shade. It's another cemetery shade with a bunch of fucking skeletons. This is awful. This is awful. This is terrible. Don't fucking hell. 
This is excruciating. You're really gonna do this. Game. <laughs> no! Uh, sorry guys, I'm gonna have to get these two. Thank you. What are you doing? What's that? Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh! Oh, it's got a bug on its head. That's what that is. I thought it was like a weird Medusa situation. I thought it had like Medusa hair. I, th I thought I just thought it was scary hair. It's fucking a, it's a bug on its head. Ah! This is like what happened to, this is like what happens if you never save Solaire near Isolith after he gets a bug on his head. He turns into one of these. Holy fuck. These things are fucking disgusting. Twin Sage Sorcerer Ashes. Right, so you'd get that, and you'd sit here and go, where the fuck's the thing I need to give to Rogier? Another death route. Yeah. I'm so glad that we found that, um, I'm so glad that we found that illusory wall. That's awesome. All right. Uh, we can fast travel because we've cleared the place, so first things first, we're heading right back. We're heading right back to the round table hold. Because let's see if D has anything to say. See if D has anything to say after that little escapade. What is it? The map indicates it will lead okay. you to... I honestly, I... The more I try, the more I'm just like, oh, okay, maybe these guys, you know, you can summon them, but it's because it's not necessarily going to progress a quest of theirs or anything, it's just that they're involved or tied to those events, so you can summon them because of it. Um, nothing's happening when I'm summoning and I'm just trying it out to see if there'll be anything that comes of it. The good thing is about that fight is we uh, we did most of the damage anyway. Obviously D took aggro <laughs> for a lot of it, but it's fine. We're trying to progress story, first and foremost, um, and we're doing a pretty good job at getting some things sorted out, which is nice. So, always have a good look. to see you safe. So, what do you need? My friend, I'm going to give you the black knife print. This is a black knife print. I can scarcely believe you managed to get your hands on this. You recall our conversation about the Knight of the Black Knives, yes? They say the assassins who carried out the deed were scions of the Eternal City. A group entirely of women, arrayed in armor of silver under cloaks which fooled the eye. The knives they wielded, though, were imparted with the power of the Rune of Death through sinister rite. Please, I beg of you, lend me the knife print for a time. I'd love nothing more than to tease out its secrets. Though only a fragment, a very specific ritual had to be performed to impart the power of the Rune of Death. Traces of the one who performed the rite are sure to remain in the imprint. Half my body has been suffused with death. I'm certain it will help me see. Handed over the black knife print. Wow. Interesting. No more dialogue, but... Oh. He's going to now ponder this black knife print. What is it? The map indicate will lead you to... Okay, so he just wants us to go and speak to the beast clergyman. You know, I'm, I'm almost tempted to just fucking go there. <laughs> uh, just, just to get him to do something else. Because it makes me wonder if, because he's locked into the whole beast clergyman thing, that he's just got nothing else to say about those who live in death. Such and such. Ah, <sighs> oh, and this is the information I was talking about last at the end of last episode. In relation to uh, Renala's cradling egg. So I think if I speak about Renala, it goes into this again. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Limgrave's north. Renala is queen of the Carian royals, and her great rune dwells within the egg. Yeah, the great rune dwells within the egg. So she doesn't possess the great rune, but the egg that Radagon gave her has it. Which is really cool. Greetings. Greetings. You're here for spirit tuning. You're here for a bit of spirit tuning. 
tune me spirits, will ya? Master Hugh. Well, I took you for no matter to lay out your arms. Lay out your arms. Aha! I can strengthen these bad boys. Oh, -ho -ho. um. Wait a minute. I believe there's something in here that I wanted to strengthen. Alright, that's somber smithing stone, so I don't need to worry about that. Was there something else that I had that I was like, I want to make this stronger? I need to remember now, don't I? I'm going to upgrade the Uji Katana, especially with the, that two-handing. Which is fun. Mm, nah. Alright. Um, let's do this, and let's do that, so we can make that a little bit stronger, and let's do that as well while we're at it. Oh, it's moved up to smithing stone number four. Wonderful. We can push it to plus ten still. Oh no, sorry, plus eleven. What is the maximum? Is it used to be like... Didn't it used to be like, you get plus ten, then you can like, take it into something else? Man, how, how far can you... Because we, there's still smithing... A smithing stone, a smithing stone four. Um, what's the highest tier of smithing stone that we have? Uh, where even are the smithing stones located? Bolstering materials. We still have smithing stone plus five. Reinforce armaments up to plus fifteen. So they might be able to go to plus fifteen. Back over no matter. Not bad. Not bad at all. No point in really upgrading a shield because that's just like. It only upgrades the attack power. I ain't gonna be attacking with a shield, you know. So that's fine. Uh, let's go speak to Fia about the fact that we gave Rogier the black knife print. I am pleased. Would you like me? The blessing? Would you like? Yes, please. Now. Yes, please. I've just been keeping her the blessing on, to be honest, because we just keep speaking you to her. So. so there we go about Rogier. I heard that you lent a hand to dear Rogier. We did. He seemed positively elated. He must be possessed of great mental fortitude. It anchors his will and sustains him, despite his grievous wounds. You truly are a champion, to dear Rogier. And myself, too. All that for a sacrificial twig. <laughs> okay. Then good day to you, my dear. My love. Evening, love. Thank you for the sacrificial twig. <laughs> Don't suppose you've got anything else. Just the sacrificial twig, then? All right. I am pleased. Would you like I'm just going to see if Would there's... It takes so long to get to this point because you have to do you do such a slow animation to be like, please, please hold me. I wish to be held. You are so then good day to you. Ah, oh, she's ah. Oh. You're so very warm. Then good day to you. Just automatically backed out. Okay, no dialogue. Interesting. Uh, we'll leave that for now then, until I guess Rogier has studied the blade enough for us to, uh, I guess make something happen. Interesting. Um, I'm still a bit annoyed and concerned about the lack of Dialos in this place, because we're supposed to find Lanya, and it makes me just feel like we missed our chance. I don't know, like... Makes me feel like we were supposed to find Lanya already, and we didn't. And now he's just gone. Uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I, wonder, I wonder if we can go anywhere um, after we beat this invader that pops up. Mad Tongue Albrick. Let's see if we can actually beat him. All right, we're much stronger. We're much stronger now than we were <laughs> when he first surprised us. Oh, the frostbite! Oh, the frostbite! Oh, the frostbite! You can stop attacking me. You can stop attacking me now. Thanks, Albrick. I'm gonna beat this. I'm gonna beat this person. 
because I know that we're capable. I know that we're capable. I will not let you beat me any longer. Yeah. Arise then. Arise. So I can immediately do this. Oh my god. <laughs> so I can immediately do this. I don't care about your gesture. I'm already ready for you. I need to not get frostbitten. Oh. Wow. God, I don't know. I don't know which spell's coming next, do I? Dude, you just keep cancelling. Just cancelling my attack as it's about to land. That annoys the fuck out of me. Yeah, get the hell down. Oh, I hate you for that. Only I'm allowed to do that. Oh, is he stronger? I'm just out of FP, that's why. Yeah, you're on out of juice, bud. Death! Finally. <laughs> Invader vanquished. We got a taunter's tongue. Mad tongue old wreck has died. Oh, you can just return. Okay. I was wondering if we were gonna be able to like open these doors and like progress through. Okay. Well, got an invader's tongue. Losing invaders. It's an online item. Alright, well I was wondering if there was gonna be anything around here. Is there any point to beating that invader, I wonder? Aha, there's a door. Yeah, it's hard when this ra like a random dude in the round table holder is like, Go look for Lanya. I'm like, I don't know where she is, bro. Cypher Parter. It's like unfortunate because I I love to find her, but I can't just go. All right, well I'm gonna go find her now because we don't know where to look. It's a fist-related thing, but it looks like a bunch of it's like words. It's an unblockable blade. One of the weapons originating from the two fingers, a formless sequence of ciphers comprise its blade, and as such, no shield can repel it, deals holy damage. The furtive inscription appears to hang in the air, the language of the light spoken by the two fingers. Imbue the cipher blade with light, then lunge forward with a sudden piercing attack. I'd love to see that in action, but you need 30 faith to make it work. Okay, so that's what was hiding down here. Oh, well, that's the round table hold. We can now travel out anyway now that we've defeated that invader. And I guess I'm heading back up this way again because we've still got that minor Erd tree to check out. So we've done the black knife, uh, the black knife print stuff, which is cool. We finally have ticked that box off, which is awesome. Uh, now we're going to go... Uh, if we want to get to there... I'm gonna try, I'm gonna just explore this cliffside first. We're gonna go up here and then make our way down once again. Let's see if we can get across to the minor erd tree because um, there'll be something waiting for us there. Look at that. So there's the bridge leading into Rea Lucaria. Right, what is that? So, I can actually see from here the beacon that I've put down. What is that? Okay, there is like a building on a little island there. Got some towers over there. 
Got more over there. Whole bunch to take in here. Good little vantage point. Oh shit, it's another fucking mausoleum! Holy shit. Uh, there's a, there are more than one. That's a fucking... That's a turtle mausoleum. Okay. Where, where are we on the map? That's like right here. Let me... I'll just mark a... Thingy. I think that's the same mark that I did for the one all the way down here. Yeah. Just... I'll just keep that marker there. I'm pretty sure if I'm... If I'm looking at it... Crazy! Pretty sure if I'm looking at it correctly. It's just down there. It's just down there, guys. Just a horse dash away. Just a horse dash away. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Uh, it's alright. This is... It's just one of those games. Always gives you those beautiful, lovely, and never embarrassing deaths. Tarnish gold and sunflower. All right, uh, don't press dash um, when you're exiting your map. Not a good idea. You will fall off a cliff. Grave violet. I want to just run away from the skelly boys, because I do not care about them. Dude, it's another one! What the fuck? This one doesn't have a bell. Oh, that's crazy. Ah! This one doesn't have a bell. Look at that. Those statues. Oh, this one's cool. It's like waiting. It's like waiting at that edge there, so you could actually like jump up and go in it. Oh yeah, right. Those exist. Dude, there's two so close to each other. I was literally like, oh cool, there's one, and there's another one finally. So they're just like really spread out, like few and far between. That's crazy. They're so close together. God, those sniper arrows are fucking insane. Absolutely insane. Okay, that is just fucking crazy. That ability. I'm trying to find a sensible way. And this is not sensible. Ow. Just let me investigate in peace. You fuck. <laughs> Alright, I'm heading back down. And we'll go back around. But, interestingly enough, uh, I can't I can't effectively decide where it is, but I think it's there. Is another one. They're like so close to each other. Two mausoleum turtles. The more you know. It's just like the difference, because there's one all the way down here, and then you're like, it's been a while since we've found been a while since we found one, and then we were like, where else do we go? Oh yeah, we just put two next to each other in the in the Leonia area. Alright, so we're back in the Uld Palace Ruins. I'm gonna run through I'm gonna run through here. Ow! Oh. oh look at the right in the head, dude! My health just disappeared. Alright, we're gonna run around here. Alright, I think this is our way up. I think that's the turtle making all that noise. Hello, everybody. Ooh. Oh, God. Touch grease. Don't let them get me with the arrows, please. Rest. <laughs> okay. We don't have any... Let me have a look in altered garments for a second. Yeah, I didn't think so. 
Like, we got the golden sewing needle and tailoring kit, but we don't have any... We're not wearing any or have any armor of the demigods. Okay. Interesting. What an interesting spot we find ourselves in. Okay. So we found our way up here. Which has a mausoleum turtle just kind of like chilling out, I guess. A bunch of these statues just come, like, all of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> hello? Mans is just jumping for job. There's another one! This is literally like, this is literally land of the fucking mausoleum turtles. What the hell? Hang on, so what are we looking at? There's one right ahead of us, and then there's one, like, up here. <laughs> what the fuck? There's another one up there. So this is just, this is just where they chill. This is where they hang out. Apparently. I've come to knock you down. I've come to clean your feet. Please don't jump. He's gonna jump. Okay, okay, that's okay. I don't know if that actually does damage to us, but I, I think it's safe to assume it will. Down, boy. I know how to deal with you now. Two in one? What the fuck? Oh! Oh! God! Oh god, he's coming down! He's coming down! He's coming down. We got him. He's coming down. No more jumping for that boy. The hilarious irony with this is that we don't even have, we only still have that one memory to, to duplicate. <laughs> we don't have any more. We haven't been gifted any more yet. But there's multiple mausoleum turtles around here. Alright. Where are we on the map? Alright, let's move that little marker and put it there instead. There you go. Lovely. I always get tricked and I always think that these are stuff for us. Okay, so we can examine the remains, I guess. Oh! Select Remembrance to Duplicate. It doesn't have... Oh, that's because we... We must have used it after finding that first turtle, and that's why we don't ha currently have one. We need to... We need... No. Wait. Can only certain... Rem like, certain ones be used in certain mausoleums? Because I swear that... I swear that the Godric one was available in... Okay, maybe it's just because I'm on the turtle. That was confusing. <laughs> I swear that that other turtle down south was fine with that Godric remembrance. Trying to rely on the old memory here. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, there was a third one. There was there was a third one there, guys. Just if you guys weren't aware. There was three there. And there was also a stake of Marika nearby, apparently. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, there's two. I'll just kill this. I'll just kill this one and then run away. Kill the other one. No. What, Grace? Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Oh. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I want to be back at that lovely Grace point of mine. 
can't believe you do that to me. Let me open my map so I can move. <laughs> Those fucking... There we go. Let me go back up here. <laughs> Should have just gone to the last side of grace. Alright, don't be tricked by the stake of America. I just wrongly assumed that that would just be closer than this one. Okay. quickly pop in here with these guys, not get too cocky. Just obtain the old uh, the runes, thanks guys, and I'm gonna leave. Well, there's a way down which would take me there and then to a cave. Or, or this option which sees us going up to another mausoleum turtle so close to one another there's three within close vicinity this is just where they go to hang out and get lunch and go to work the other one was slacking off he was hiding from the rest apparently he's just like you know what i don't want to fucking hang out in leonia i'm gonna i'm gonna leave i'm gonna go hang out in the direction of castle morn because it's cooler over there Let's have a look at this one. You gonna jump too? Okay, why do they jump now? They've unlocked jumping. <laughs> they just unlocked jumping. That's so funny to me. <laughs> okay, so as soon as rocks start to fall from the... Uh, as soon as rocks start to fall... From it, you just need to run for your life. I love that they have the c capacity to jump. Oh, here we go. It's coming down, boys. It's coming down. Interesting that there was only one with a bell. Interesting that there was only one with a bell. It was the first one that you find. Okay. And here is our... Here is our second shadow mausoleum. Very close to one another. Alright, we'll open up this door as well. Okay. I always wonder if there's going to be an NPC in one of these whenever we open one. That would be so cool, huh? We just open one. There's a bunch of bunch of other turtles inside. Okay, so two mausoleums hanging out, all done. Brought them to their knees. Marked them on the map. can hear a scarab I'm pretty sure which like immediately just makes me go man you don't really see scarabs that often anymore do you Look at that big big ass big damn gate ass over there Ooh, there's a way down if we want it Okay, that is also sealed. We really need that glinstone key, huh? That's when we start deciding to do rare Lucaria stuff. So there you go, there's that guy. Pretty much straight ahead. Ooh, this one has a bell. This one has a bell. There you go. So it's not just one that has the bell. Not, not just one. They, there's two. Two with, two with bells, two without. Dun. Okay, so that is this sort of... God damn, alright. And then I guess we can go through there to get to the Minor Erd Tree. Okay, let's go to the Minor Erd Tree. Seems like a, uh, seems like a good idea to me. 
Seems like a good idea to me. Hello, wolf boys. Goodbye, wolf boys. I don't want any of you today. I'm here to go and check out an Erd tree. It's been it's been pretty productive. I like that we've gotten the we've got finally done the the black knife print stuff after finally trying to get down there for so long. Pushing further and further into the, you know, sort of Leonia area, which is nice. Um, but we, I think we really need to start having a look at um, Rhea Lucaria soon. Getting this Glinstone key so we can get in. And then if, apparently if we get a spare Glinstone key, um, we can give it to uh, that sorcerer guy. Ooh, okay, it's another... It's another tree guardian dude. It's another asylum demon from Dark Souls 1 brought into the lands between to be a tree spirit. Okay. You know what I miss? You know what I miss about uh, Sekiro? I miss the fact that, like, you could instantly kill enemies from behind. Like, you know, you could just properly death blow them. That was nice. Obviously now we're back to uh, Dark Souls doing backstabbings, and they obviously just do a set amount of damage. But I miss those. I miss those death blows. I do miss those death blows. How dare you attack faster than me? You're a big boy. What the fuck? What happened there? No! Why did that? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus. Alright. Get out of here, boys. It's time for the big boys to fight. Me and this thing. Me and this tree that I'm not even sure that you can um, sneak up on. Hey. Backstab tree. Third tree avatar, let's go! Round two. You know what? I've already fought this boss before. I want to. I'm gonna summon my level four, level four jellyfish card in attack mode. Let's go. I don't even know what it can do now that we've upgraded it, but we're gonna find out. Kind of nothing. It's just gonna stand there and look pretty because it's not even successfully taken aggro. <laughs> Oh, well, it's actually quite useful because it takes that attack. That's nice. I think that's the only new attack this one has. That's the only new attack it has over the uh, Asylum Demon moveset, which is quite interesting. Well then, I certainly... I certainly got my cheeks clapped there, didn't I? I got slammed... And then I got slammed some more, just for good measure there. That was... That was unfortunate. Now I gotta do these guys again. No, turn around. Don't notice. Why are you glowing now? Why are you glowing now? Why are you glowing? Do they give me more runes when they're glowing? One way to find out. We got 910? Yeah, how much? 182! Why did it give us so much more? Ow. I didn't know there was another strike coming. And another one. And another one! Nice. Okay. Yeah, when it when when it's like a, a boss that I've we've already faced off against, you know what? I'm like, fuck it, may as well have fun and like experiment what with these guys. Um oh yeah, I never read the um Twin Sage Sorcerer Ashes, did I? Spirit of Rhea Lucaria Sorcerer wielding a stone crown. Those who study the Twin Sage Conspectus are the Academy's elite. Capable of mastering the Glinstone Comet Shard and Crystal Burst sorceries. We need to check in with uh with Selen some more as well now, don't we? After all of this um, sorcery and Rhea Lucaria stuff that we've gotten into. 
Um, who should I summon? I should summon someone else. I want to actually, I want to check this out. I want to check out Lutel the Headless. Even though I haven't even upgraded you. Oh. I cannot. Hang on. Is there a, is there a requirement? Oh, is it more FP than I can afford? How much FP do I have? I've got 71. <laughs> it costs 104. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Because it costs FP to summon, right. Didn't even realize that. Ooh, these ones cost HP. There you go. The more you, the more you know, dude. You know what? You know what? I choose to have my unsheath ability instead. I choose to be able to unsheath. I much prefer being able to unsheath over having a jellyfish take aggro. Especially with how much more damage I can do. Oh, and I just died exactly the same way. I just died exactly the same way. The, the way of the swipe you, make you dodge backwards, and then punish you for dodging backwards because you're an idiot for dodging backwards because I have an attack that can reach you, you punk. I love that move. That's a good one. It's definitely a good one. And now I have to fight these guys every single time. This is... this is... I hate this. <laughs> Stay out of the boss arena, guys. Stay out of the boss arena, please. This is the only negative to whenever there's, like, a lack of a, uh, like, fog wall or anything like that. <laughs> And there's like enemies that are just directly tied to the fucking boss. So, Alright. I'll just fight you again. And again. And again. However long it takes. Okay. Thank you. I'll just continue to fight this fucking thing. A tree avatar! A tree avatar! Tree Avatar. Ow! Ah! I thought I did okay, and then my fucking camera. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh! I can't believe it's gotten worse. Oh, you're doing that one again, are you? Oh, hitboxes, man. I, the fucking same move. It's like, I knew it was coming as well. It's like, in my head, I went, I'm about to die. Because my brain had already decided what buttons were going to be pressed. And I just, my third eye opened and I went, I'm going to die in the exact same way. Because I'm going to dodge backwards. And he's going to smack me with his axe. Just call me Nostradamus. I could see my own death. Oh yeah, and this is when I got killed by a fucking stupid asshole. Come on. Nope. Enlightenment. I am at peace. I'm not gonna get mad. I'm not gonna get mad at a mob. I refuse. I'm not mad at these guys. They're just doing their jobs. And they're very good at their jobs too. Stop attacking. You have no more attacks. Okay. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Stop it. Just, how many attacks? Okay. Thanks, game. Thanks for glitching on me. I didn't drink my juice fast enough, so I didn't get the free refill. 
I didn't get my free drink refill. Hello? I'm here to complain to the manager because I didn't get my free drink refill with my fucking mob kill. I only have myself to blame. The, the man who wears a fucking talisman that increases all damage dealt to him in the name of getting some more attributes. <laughs> but who cares? Because I will beat you anyway. Or oh, cancel out your big boy attack because fuck you, you piece of shit. Let's go. That was a that was a well timed dodge on the avatar's part. Yeah, wind up that attack some more, why don't you? And you're fucking gone. You suck. Get ringed. Get ringed. Man just got ringed. Magic shrouding cracked tear. Lightning shrouding? Holy shrouding? Holy shroud! What are we, we just got a bunch of... A bunch of them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Temporarily boosting attacks. A crystal tear formed slowly over the ages where the Erd Tree's bounty falls to the ground. Can be mixed in the flask. The resulting concoction temporarily boosts the power of one's magic, lightning, and holy attacks. I like that. That's cool. That's cool. Alright. All that for uh, some crystal tears that I am never going to use on this character because I don't have any of those those things. Because <laughs> I don't have any of those things. Alright. Ma magic Minor Erd Tree. That's the name. Minor Erd Tree Conquered. Let's have a look around this place. What is the what is the pot's connection to the Erd Tree? I wonder, because you find them scattered around there, um, the ones with the Erd Tree avatars. I don't know. I wonder what the uh, what the meaning behind that one is. I don't really get the pot's deal, and naturally, we only have uh, one. Friendly one. <laughs> we only have one friendly one as well, so we don't know what to make of. We don't even know what to make of that. I love him though. Can't wait to see him again. So, there is. We've been there. We need to figure out how to get. Maybe. Go up here to get in there. Maybe you need to go down here, to go up there, to go around here, to go in here, and then be up here. It's like when you're looking at your map, you're like, how do I get to this point? It's like, do I really have to go all the way around? All the way around to get up there? All in the name of adventure. I was pretty sure, aren't the blue ones supposed to be for FP? I did not get any FP back. Interesting. Oh no, it refills your flasks, doesn't it? Not your actual health bar. So those blue ones are useless to me, aren't they? Because I don't even have a Cerulean flask equipped. That'd, that'd do it! Every time I've killed a blue one, it's been a waste of my time. Yeah, there's no way up there at first glance. So that's all kind of sealed. I think you need to go around the long way to get up there. Mausoleum compound. Oh, it's a... Okay, mausoleum compound. They're keeping them there like dogs. <laughs> I think we should try and go down here to this cave then. Let's try that.
And then I think it might be time for us to try and get a glinstone key. So we can get into Rhea Lucaria. Because we'll try and... We'll, I think we're at, we're at a point where we can try to f sort of focus our attention on... Uh, Leonia, specifically. Whoa! Fuck me! Jesus, that bear came out of nowhere, man. All that for an artery leaf. I'm like, it's not even something good. Get out of here. Bye, bear. We made, we made a mistake and pissed off Yogi Bear. We stole all of his gold-tinged excrement. Okay, how do we fucking get down here? Let's have a look. Is there a safe way? Is there a... That is not a safe drop. For some reason, I thought we could get down there from here. Oh, yeah, we could. Over there. No, hang on. There was some... There was somewhere around here that I was looking at that we could get down with the gravestones in the wall. I must have imagined it, because I don't even think we can get over there. I don't even think we can get over there. We can only admire it from a distance at this point, can't we? I'm pretty sure. Oh no, here, here it is. Fuck's sake. <laughs> here it is! See ya! Guys, I found it. I found the way down. And I did make it to the bottom in record time. <laughs> good. Good. Right. Uh, where did I just... Where did I die? There. Okay. Take me back there, please. Take me back where I died. Yes, okay. Now, let's safely navigate. Let's safely navigate back down. And then we should be... Uh, we should be okay. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's see what the problem is. Okay. Just gently. Yeah. Okay. And I just missed that platform. That annoys me. <laughs> Just missed that platform. <sighs> okay. <laughs> How many attempts is it gonna take to uh, descend this cliff? I wonder. That is that is the true question. Uh, will I will I be able to be focused enough to uh, to get down this cliff? Where are my runes now? Because they'll be on one of the graves, won't they? Yeah. I like... Something that I do really like is the control over Torrent. And I've mentioned this here, but like when you land, there isn't like a... You land exactly where you choose, you know? The, the Torrent doesn't just accidentally like kind of gallop forward slightly or something like that. You have to panic and lose your balance. Torrent will stay. Now, from here, I'm looking to go to this one. Oh my fucking god, dude! <laughs> oh boy, almost landing between them and just going straight through would have been a sight to behold. Torrent was just putting in the, the, the leg work there with the back leg, All right? Now, I think that I can go across that way. 
but I also think that I can go on here. I think. And then go down this way. God, I love hearing that bell tolling in the distance. It's so cool. There we go. I think we're okay. Yes. We made it! Alright, we're over this side. Okay. Um, I need to find a side of grace before I go down here and probably die. I'm going to find a side of grace so I don't have to do that ever again. A side of grace, please. I feel like being in this area should be... Hmm. I don't know. There's some, there's my grace point. Ooh, it's another, it's another finger maiden. All right, hold on, I'll be with you in a moment. I gotta touch grace first. Nice. All right. So what is this? This is East Ray Lucaria Gate. Oh, hang on. Before I, just always gotta check the list just to make sure there isn't like a talk with Melina option. What a cool looking statue. Hello. You. Please. I can read them. Your fingers. Please, your fingers. Your fingers. Oh, what a pity it is to be without the right. All you can do is stand at a loss. Without even the half crescents that wish to be whole. Before the unmoving, unfeeling grand lift ahead. Mm. <sighs> or are you planning to throw yourself to the waters? To find the Howard's passage through the dim cavern. To find the coward's passage through the dim cavern. Interesting. Yeah, we've got Grace pointing us. That's the first time we've had a bit of Grace in a while since <laughs> Ray Lucario. I think we're supposed to be down here, considering that we're being pointed in that direction. So, I'm not going to proceed any further in this area until we've done Rail uh, Ray Lucaria. We're going to go down this cave though. That's down here. So one of the one of the great lifts uh, lies ahead, apparently. Um, I wonder if this is going to be okay. It's going to be an experience. Where? <laughs> Where's the cave gonna be though on this side? Oh my god! Because if we go if we go too low down, I guess we miss it. Right? I'm assuming it's gonna be like because I'm trying to match it up with what it looks like on the map. That was not what I meant to do, but okay, okay, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> that was not what I meant to do, but sure, I'll take it. I suppose, but now I'm kind of stuck here. Ah, uh, I'm... I don't think that's where... Oh, maybe. We'll see. Well, now I just have to go down this way without dying. So, let's just do that. Uh, we made it to the bottom. Oh, no, okay. That's still on the ground. Okay. So, the, the cave should be... For some reason, with how the map was looking, I assumed that there'd be like a ledge or something, and it wouldn't be on the ground, but it looks like it will be on the ground, and here it is. Okay. Another cave for Smith and Stones, and another, another lovely, another lovely turtle mausoleum that we can crash down. Ooh, cracked crystal. Okay, hang on. Have we got one of those yet? I don't think we have those. It's not a, uh, it's not a bolstering material. Uh, what's a cracked crystal? 
excuse me, I'm looking for a cracked crystal. What are those? Oh, we've got a bunch of those. Never mind. Never mind. Not what I thought they'd be. Alright, we'll go down the non-elevator way in the name of cracked crystals. Oh, god. If that's all we're gonna find here. Probably be slightly disappointed. Alright, let's see. Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. There'll be a boss in here somewhere for us, won't there? Alright, I actually think, looking at my runes, I should level up, shouldn't I? <laughs> Probably seems like a smart thing to do. Crystal boys. God, you're, you're tough as nails, aren't you? Oh! Exploded in crystal fireworks. Oh, yeah, okay. Don't don't attack with don't don't bother doing that. That's a waste of time. Somber Smith and Stone. Okay. Oh wow. Oh, it's these fucking guys again. I haven't encountered these guys since uh, since my lovely excursion in in episode one. <laughs> So these are the these are the crystal the crystal miners. They need some uh, they need some other stuff. If only these guys knew that all they had to do was press Y, they wouldn't have to waste all their time mining crystals. That's so silly of them. Someone should let them know. Guys, you don't have to put in all that work. It's actually quite easy. I don't think I can just let them be and ignore them. I said let them be and ignore them, which means I'm going to ignore you. Fuck. Contraption does not move! Alright, hold on. Hello boys on break. Enjoy your break, don't mind me. I'm just passing through here. I'm just a visitor to the mines, checking in that everything is going as planned. Fuck. Another lift. Oh. Multiple directions! That's right, I will clear out this cave. Oh god. Smithing stone three. Smithing stone three. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you need to stop that. Okay, your whole sorcery thing, I don't like it. You gotta you gotta stop with that. Okay. You gotta okay, okay, okay. You guys gotta stop with the whole thing where you do the magic. I don't like it. I'm going down the lift. Fuck it. Or maybe I'm gonna jump onto a secret platform. Okay, fuck it. We're going down the lift and then I'll keep my eye out for the platform. No! Get off my lift! You... Wow. Impressive. Oh god. Can you all right, you, you gotta stop. I'm pretty sure there is there is a another ledge. I think I saw it on my way down. Just just briefly. Just briefly I gave it a little bit of a bit of a look see. Oh, I saw it. Oh man, it just it just keeps going. Yeah, uh, yes. The old crystal cave crystal caves of Rayo Lucari. You can't actually see a map in this place because you're inside a dungeon. Hey there, you don't mind if I take that from you? Yep, haha, <laughs> see I told you, all you have to do is press Y, bud, you don't have to mine it. It's fine. Ooh, god, alright. You there, old mate. You don't do, don't. I'm here for, my, for Smith and Stones, and nothing else. I promise I'm not here to start a fight. Another lift? What the fuck? I think that's the lift 
that I tried to use before, but it was the contraption does not move one. Oh! God. You're not a fucking... Ah! You're not one of them. You're much easier to kill. Smithing stone 2? Smithing stone 1? I mean, that equals 3. Oh, God. Hey. 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 Oh, they're still coming for me, slowly but surely. Ooh, what are you guys doing? You guys are admiring the crystals, huh? They were admiring the crystals, how weird. That's cool. You guys snuck in here. Short bone, some arrows. Glintstone. Crystal, a crystal knife, dude. A crystal knife, that's cool. Uses tools to extract glintstone from broken rock, and as such a faint magic enwreaths the blade. You know what? I wonder if this does, because it's a crystal, fuck, wrong way. Because it's a crystal one, and judging by the lore note there, I wonder if it does more damage to these guys. It doesn't! It doesn't. Hey guys, just in case you were wondering if it does more damage to those guys, it doesn't. Just thought I would save you that time. Oh. Can you get out of the doorway? Do you mind getting out of the door, please? This guy sucks. Get out of the door. Thank you. This is a massive one, this area. Ha huh, stole all your smithing stones, boys. That's what you get for not pressing Y. You two. Ah! It's him! Get him! Crystal Thief! He's stealing all our stones! Shatter Earth. Nice. If only I could do that right now! Okay, this is it. This is the end for me. <laughs> That was... Your thieving days are over! No more of it! Look how fucking many ended up teaming up on me. You've all been consumed by the crystal. Yeah, crystal-eyed buggers. God damn it. Alright. Alright, now I'm back at the start. Alright, let's, let's, let's go again. Right, I'm gonna take this opportunity to check out this door at the bottom while we're here. I unfortunately slipped and died as soon as I respawned, trying to get back to where I was, so... Uh, that's all of my runes gone. But it's worth it, because I got a somber smithing stone. <laughs> Look how deep this mine goes. Ooh. And we've got a... Something at the bottom. We've got a giant cave nipple at the bottom there. So I guess that's our goal. So we'll be descending shortly to uh, to, to cave nipple. Sounds like that's gonna be that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna send this guy up. Cause I'll probably die again. Who knows? Who knows? I can I can feel it in my bones. Let's have a look. So, back over here again. I'm just gonna try and deal with the enemies that are roaming. Because obviously these are the ones that are giving us the biggest headache. And look, they're not too hard to deal with. You just have to give them a couple of heavy attacks. And if you're an idiot like me, you let them all bunch up and overwhelm you. Or do that for a completely unnecessary death. Just, just strong attack them. Um, mind if I take that? Thank you. I haven't taken this lift yet, because we ran away from this one. So you know what? I'm just going to take it. Oh, there's more smithing stones then. I'm just going to take it. Alright, where are we? It's hard to tell whether this is a spot... Oh, this is the beginning. 
Yep, this is the beginning. It was the lift that I was talking about. Lovely. It was exactly the lift that I was talking about when we ran past it in a frenzy. Okay, we take that. Okay. So now I'm going to go through here. So we're, this is a little bit of familiar territory. Yep, because this is the these are the rooms where... Oh god, oh my god. Because we're about to get to the point... Oh, I got the marionette soldier armor. I got their armor. Finally. God. I've got... I put like... Close to 30 hours in this game so far. And this is the armor I have to show for it. Armor of metal bands arranged in a lattice worn by marionette soldiers crafted to serve the sorcerers. The construction of this armor is remarkably crude, how rusted over, now rusted over, and severely dented. For a doll, the only thing that matters is that it does not break. But you can break the dolls. Right, I'm going to let them play with their crystals. Hopefully they don't pursue me too far. Uh, let's see the group hanging out in here that we shouldn't have to run in the center of. Overkill. Little bit of overkill there. Jeez. You mind? Okay, why is this one stronger than the rest? This one's so much stronger than the others. Get up, guys, please. Just stay. Um. Nope, oh, there's nothing in there, because... Alright, I remember I ran in this group, and then I ran out of here as fast as I could. No, guys, don't get up, please. Fuck, I don't know if I went this way. I did go this way, because this is the dead end! This is where I died last time! Except with way more of them. <laughs> That's where I died last time. God damn. Okay, so that means this is new. And we've got another ledge. Oh! Shit. Okay, I'm just gonna take the... I'll just take the lift. Get off. That's right, you're not coming with me, bitch. Alright, there is another ledge. Oh, we got a boss. Okay, and I have three flasks to show for it. Alright. Ah, <laughs> let's go. Oh, this is the bottom. Ooh! Crystallian. Oh, it's one of these! I've already faced off against one of your kind. I just did no damage. Holy shit, 11. Oh yeah, because I remember. I remember how you, you beat him. Okay. I remember now. I, you just have to stance break them, make them weak. Right. Well, we're already off to a terrible start, so that's good. There we go. Oh, <laughs> 476, baby! I figured out your trick. Yes. Susceptible to damage now, aren't you? You punk. Get out of here. Nice. Smithing stone miners bell bearing. Ooh, we've got another bell bearing. Hell yeah. Okay. Mineshaft cleared. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at that bell bearing. Is that a key item that we hand over? It is. The bell bearing of a miner who once dug for smithing stone. Offered to the twin maiden husk at the round table hold to gain access to smithing Oh, you can buy smithing stone 1 and 2 now! And glinstone scrap. Yes, you can finally buy smithing stones. It's crazy that I'm this far into the game. And this is the point that I can finally buy smithing stone 1 and 2. It's not even- this is not early game, this location. That's fucking crazy. That is, in, that is insane to me. Smithing stone 1 and 2 can now be bought. 
Um, all right, there is a there is a. Oh, this is where, okay. So this is where I came from. All right. Because those are the barrels that I had already crushed. Okay. Some smithing stone number three. Is that the only... is this the only door in this room then? Just to check before I move on. Because um, we're not... we're not quite done yet. In the mines of Moria. There's still more that I... there's still more that I have to do. Just one more ledge, I think, that I missed. So let's ride this bad boy back up. Uh, yep. Yeah. And I'm, pr I'm pretty sure there's one more thing I have to do, but we've, we've killed the boss in here. We've got a bell bearing, so we can now actually buy smithing stones, which is real nice. One and two, especially, because now we can finally upgrade, you know, we can finally upgrade the, uh, the gear. Um, maybe we're done. There's, no, there's another, there's another lift that I missed a ledge on, I swear. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not going to beat myself up over it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to beat myself up over it. I'm actually happy to... I'm fine. I'm okay. We're going to leave. We're going to leave. Um, we're going to travel to the beginning of the of the tunnel. You know what? I've got enough... I have, I've had enough crystal tunnel trauma. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. The boss is there, and we've we've gotten a bunch of smithing stones. I'm I'm happy with that. So we're gonna we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave. Because do you know what we can do? Do you know what we can do? And what we should do is we should head in the direction of Ray Lucaria. We should try and get ourselves a glinstone key. I think. I think that would be a a smart thing to do. I'm wondering when we, because it looks like, so the pathway that we're given is um, at the start here, it's and then I'm wondering, because Caleb has one grace point which is there, but it's like there's nothing that is asking us to go over there. <laughs> The only, the closest we're getting is to the beast clergyman. We can travel in there if we want. There's nothing stopping us. We just, we just have not. You know what I mean? We just have not. All right, let's bring down another one of these bad boys. I never expected, when I saw one, I was like, oh wow, finally another one. I never expected to be taking down three in an episode in close succession. A minute. You don't have any things on your feet, sir. How do I... Oh, this one's different. This one's different. Oi. How do we get you to come down? You've got nothing on your, on your feeties. Knock, knock. Interesting. Maybe this one is the one that you have to kill the headless knights in. Oh fuck, there's so many. There's so many more knights uh, guarding this one than there was the first one that we found. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm so accurate. What the fuck? There you go. I'm gonna take all these guys out because... I'm partially convinced that maybe if I take them out, the mausoleum will come down. Which was my very third, my very first theory when we read the note that was clear the area. I was like, ah, oh, we need to clean up. Oh shit, there's a big one there too. I reckon that if we clear out these enemies, 
is some nice potential that it will come down. Only one way to find out. And that is by not getting killed. For starters. Uh, everywhere I look, there is just more of them. <laughs> everywhere I look, there's more! Right. It's going well so far. Except for that one. Oh, I'll talk to you later. I like that even though they like sort of teleport that um, the lock on remains so they don't they don't just completely they don't just completely disappear from my from my view oh god I died <laughs> and I died oh great you know what you know what that took too much of my time <laughs> god damn it I hate it when you're trying to like clear out an entire area and then you die especially when you are very much specifically trying to clear out an area and now I have to do it again maybe if I just take out the leader where are my runes yeah, there's a lot of guards here, especially considering there's a stake of America that makes it very interesting. Ooh, there's another one of these. But I can't exp I swear it's because I've already I must have already discovered it again. Like this the this is another one of those another one of those things. We've only f that's the third one we found and so far only one of them has actually been one to examine. Alright, where's the main... where's the main one? Take out the leader. That's guarded by everyone. Just go straight for the head of the snake. And then also attack too early. And then also get knocked right off your steed at the very beginning. We're going well. It's going very well. Hey. Gotcha. Alright, now all of you guys have to die. It's the rules, please. Your leader died. Now you all have to go. Okay. The leader won't go. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> I'll be back for you! Interesting. Alright. We'll be back to figure out how to get that one down. That's not on my priority list right now. I honestly... The only reason I came down to take it out so quickly was because I thought I was going to be on feet cleaning duty and just taking it taking it easy but no that one needs something else which means there might be a merchant nearby that's selling some selling some goodies oh this was my other thing wasn't it i put a i put a little thing here being like this is going to be a a well it actually looks like it's not going to be a well at all it's a tower damn it how do we get down to um aeonia swamp i wonder who knows only a smithing stone two okay well, let's remove this beacon. Let's see what this tower is, and hopefully it's not sealed. And if it is, we really need that glidstone key. Imagine if we were focusing on getting that. <laughs> we got more of these balloons that we can pop for runes as well, if we want. Lost Greece. 
Where are we? Where are we? Sorcerer's Isle. Okay. Sorcerer's Isle. Oh, look, there's a map piece there. Oh, shit, there's a map piece there. Far out. Okay. We're actually being asked to go over there, too. Holy fuck. Will we ever reach the borders of this world, man? Shall we quickly just run and get a map fragment just so I can look at that section of the world and go, Oh no, it's so much bigger than I thought it was, once again. No thanks. No thank you. I respectfully decline. Map! Map! I'm here to grab your map. Leonia West. Oh. Okay, we've finally reached an edge. We've definitely reached the edge of the map. There it is. <laughs> Wonderful. The edge of the map. Cool. Interesting. So cool when you get a new map piece and you get to like pick out what you can find, what you can see. Minor Earth Tree. Oh, we're finally. Ah, uh, yes, okay. We can now finally see up here. Oh shit, and this is how you get all the way up there. You have to find. You follow this path, another Earth Tree. Oh no, hang on. There's still a massive cliff here, yeah. Yeah, the way up here is going to be interesting, because I'm pretty sure you have to use a lift. The old grand lift thing. Because that might be Volcano... Volcano Manor? Maybe? Not sure. Okay, now there's too many nipples on the map, and I don't know what they mean. It used to be easy. It used to be easy, now I'm so lost and confused. Alright. We're only we only ran here for the map piece. I'm not ready to begin my journey up that way up that way yet. Let's check out Sorcerer's Isle. And yes, like I've said, like I'm gonna acknowledge that yeah, I've I've run past a lot. I've run past a lot, but keep in mind, holy fuck, keep in mind that I, I have a very good mental note and understanding of where, which ground we haven't covered yet, so. These things really suck when you let them go, don't you? <laughs> These fucking marionette- fucking god! Like, they're so weak, but at the same time... Annoying as hell. <laughs> god damn it. Let me out of here. Hey, don't do that. It's like, the one time that I decide, you know what, okay, I'll kill you. And then it just... Okay, I don't care anymore. I, I lost my... <laughs> if it takes that long, I, I don't care. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sorcerer's Isle is sealed. However... There's a person here. Oh, that's not a person, that's a book. Seek three wise beasts. Oh, fuck, what did the book at the... Yeah. Yeah. What did the... I think there was one at another tower. So maybe they're not tied... Maybe these aren't glinstone keys at all. Testu's rise. You must solve the puzzle to enter. Fuck. Okay, Sorcerer's Isle 
Our sorcerer's isle vacation is cancelled. Honey, we're leaving. We have to solve a puzzle to get into these towers. Please let me get out of here. Let me open up my map. I wish the game would just trust me to open up my map in combat. Like, it should be my choice. <laughs> it should be my choice whether or not I want to open a map while I'm in danger. Surely I can open it now. What the fuck? Why can't I open my map, bro? Oh shit, Folger Bloom. Why is it like. What the fuck? Whoa! Okay, is anyone doing that or is that just the weather? Is that just crazy weather? Okay. Just the just the lightning is fine. That's standard. Okay. Just a casual bit of lightning to lighten up your day. Interesting. Okay, so we can take that off, so that's Testu's Rise. That is unfortunately not a well to go underground, which means I am still yet again left questioning <laughs> the area of Ainsel. Um uh, that's a tower as well, I think, but it didn't give us a location marker. Oh, damn. There is there is so much in this game. There is so much in this game. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> Not in a bad way driving me crazy, but it's just in the way that it's like, fuck, there's like there's a lot in this game. There's a lot. Um I know that I'm gonna miss plenty. I'm gonna miss plenty is sort of the way of things. Oh, it's a flame chariot here. Okay. Because as you recall, by the way, um, a couple of episodes ago, we were... Here? Yeah, we were here. The Laskar Ruins. Which reminds me. Hold on, I have a note. Uh, I need to go west. I need to go west of Laskia Ruins. I need to go down here. But that goes into this area which we were already in. I'm gonna go here real quick. I'm gonna go here. Because if you remember, we teleported from Laskia Ruins and it took us to the south gate of Rhea Lucaria. It took us all the way here, so we kind of skipped out a little bit. And then we had to spend some time navigating back. Now, uh, we're currently at Laskia Ruins. Apparently, uh, give Medallion West. Over this way. West of the ruins should be someone named uh, Latena, I believe, which is what uh, Albus Albanuric was talking to us about when we were in the village. I do feel a little bit disorganized this episode. It feels very kind of like chasing a lot of different threads at once because a lot of stuff is, is open. Here's our cave, there you go. We're chasing a lot of stuff, you know. Lakeside Crystal Cave. So I'm always just trying to keep in mind my older notes that I've left for myself to go back to, to this instead of constantly chasing new stuff, which is very hard to do. It's very hard to not chase new stuff constantly. Okay, so I think this is the cave um, that Gideon told us about. The Lakeside Crystal Cave. What we seek is in here somewhere. Okay. Far out, okay. We're just, we're going, uh... Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? 
Uh, we are going, doing a lot of cave exploration this episode, aren't we? Okay. Alright, Timmy humans. I see ya. I see ya. New brand of demi human just dropped. Sneaky Bushman. Now you gotta watch out for all these bushes. The game's using stealth against us, while we're supposed to be using stealth against it. me all of that sweet, sweet cave moss. Hello. Budding cave moss. <laughs> Just a little tiny one. Okay. Ooh, a spear talisman. New talisman. Spears are standard weapons for soldiers in the lands between. They've made it possible to respond to a ferocious foe with an equally fer ferocious counterattack. So, enhances the counterattacks that are unique to thrusting weapons. That's cool. Guys, secret waterfall. One of these days, guys, there's going to be an illusory waterfall. Trust me. It's going to be an illusory waterfall. You cut right through it like butter. Okay, is there a way down this way? There is a way down this way. We're going, we're going off, off script. We're going down this way. Deeper into the pit we go, apparently. Seeing some new crystals too, which is cool. Whoa, okay. Crystal slugs. Whoa, magic crystal breathing slugs. Whoa, and they're not slow. Um, I suppose they would be snails, wouldn't they? Because they've got a little housing, not slugs. Interesting. They got them Seath the Scaleless abilities. Wonder if we can harvest any of these crystal. Ooh, crystal cave moss. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, you guys are all gonna wake up. I know this shit. You give away your position too easily by standing there. I think I'm not gonna notice. Still going, still going down. Soft cotton. Oh yeah, soft cotton uh, is to reduce the fall damage, isn't it? Like, isn't that what soft cotton's for? Temporarily reduces fall damage and sound. Here, let's use one. Ah yes, eat the eat the cotton. Oh, it made no sound. Smithing stone four, smithing stone two. Lump of flesh. And love it. Bless our cotton socks. Oh my fucking god, that's actually scary. <laughs> that is actually scary, dude. There's a snail in there with glowing eyes! 
Oh my god, just they're slowly being revealed in the in the darkness. Oh my god. Beware the crystal snails of doom. Fucking hell. This feels like a boss room arch. Yep. <laughs> this feels like a boss room arch. Bloodhound Knight. Oh, it's another one of these! Holy shit. Where's Blythe? Blythe! Ah! Oh my- Whoa! Shit, man. Oh, and he's got quick step as well. Oh, okay, doing his little dance. Man's got dance moves, okay. I see ya, I see ya. Holy shit, man. Literally short kill. Dude, I want the Bloodhound armor so bad. Cerulean Amber Medallion. I want that Bloodhound armor. It looks cool. It's got a beak to it. Fucking Bloodhound Knight, man. Raises maximum FP. The Erd Tree's old sap becomes amber, treasured as the most precious of jewels in the age of Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Primordial life inside. Energy resides inside. I love it when you're walking into a space and you're just like, that's a boss room arch. That's that's where a, a fog wall would appear. <laughs> oh shit. We're outside. Where are we? Oh. I didn't expect us to be outside. Oh no. What? That's so cool! Slumbering Wolf Shack. Dude! Woman with a wolf, I think I have your medallion. Fell tarnished. What do you want? Ouch. I told the old hearing brute that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? Oh shit. Did someone take... Someone took her other half. Show the secret medallion. Oh. Do you speak true? So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. Then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena. An Albanoric, the same as old Albus. Nice. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute. All -hearing I hope brute. that you will forgive me. Um, I don't know who all-hearing brute refers to, but I'm going to write it down in case I don't know. All-hearing brute. I mean, there's Gideon Ofnir who told us about this place, which is the all-knowing. So maybe, uh, she's just giving him a nickname. Hmm. The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do. Even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halig Tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you. Of the whereabouts of the medallions are the half. Okay. Maquilla's Halig Tree, which has come up before? Maquilla's Halig Tree has come up before. Okay. Of course we'll hear your request. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the forbidden lands north of the Earth Tree. In Castle Soul. On the mountain tops of the giants, 
accessible by the grand lift of Rold. Castle Soul. Other half of medallion. Um, what medallion is it that we're holding on to again? Let me just have a look, because we've got two, remember? Uh, we need the second one. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah. The Harley Tree Secret Medallion to operate the Grand Lift of Rold. Which, depicting the Harley Tree. Yeah, the Secret Medallion will guide the bearer to the land of Maquilla's Halig Tree. So we need to get the other medallion. Then once we form it together, we can then... Lynetta can go with us to Maquilla's Halig Tree. So in Castle Soul... Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. Hmm. My faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the Tarnished. So that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. Sadness. No. Ah, as a when needed. As a spirit. Fight at your side. That's cool, Lieutenant the Alvinoric. No, Lobo. We say a prayer in honor of Lobo. But may the spirit of Sith, may the spirit of Sith guide you. God damn. Okay. Got some good writings down. Let's take a look at this spirit that we got. We have, we can summon Latena. That's really, really cool. A rare case of one who chose to become a spirit voluntarily. Ah, oh, so she's... Okay, I wasn't assuming that she died there, and it was more of like a weird sort of, she needs to transition out of the screen, but no, she's become a spirit voluntarily. Latena was renowned as a deft magic archer, but having lost her beloved wolf companion Lobo, she cannot move from the place where she was summoned. Oh. Cool. Um, how much does it cost to summon? I can, I can afford it. I want to try that out. That'll be cool. We'll have to take her with us um, to McCullough's Hallig Tree. So we'll definitely try that out at some point. Hey. And a Runark. Nice. So Gideon was telling the truth. He did lead us to Latena through, through that cave. At the Slumbering Wolf Shack. So... North of the Forbidden Woods lies Castle Soul. These look like woods, but they look tiny. That could be the castle there. That could be the castle there, but I'm looking for woods first. We have we have another quest in mind though. Another quest. <laughs> Another quest, just with the many that we already have. Um, we're going to check out this area because, if you remember, if you remember, because it's been some time since then, when we first appeared at the South Ray Lucaria Gate, uh, we got one of these bad boys. We got one of these bad boys. We're going to map the meeting place. Um, in regards to the means of gaining a glinstone key. And by looking at that map, I have surmised that it is this isle. So we're going to go there now. And we're going to see if we're correct in our assumption. Otherwise, it is around that area. So let's go and take a look, see if we can get ourselves a glinstone key, which should grant us access to Rhea Lucaria, hopefully. Or at least the means to break the seals to those barriers. And then, uh, hopefully, we'll get the answer to the question of uh, whether or not a glinstone key is a single-use item or a multi-use item, because that is something that we do not know. Okay, so there's just smithing stones in these little gazebos. Uh, we haven't explored around this area at all, so this is another place that we need to kind of comb through. <laughs> there's there's a lot, guys. There's a lot. And 
And this is a new location, the Temple Quarter. Hello. Rhymed Crystal Bud. Ooh, Ice Rind Hatchet. You think I'm safe to quickly have a look at it? I don't think so. <laughs> Alright guys. Oh! <laughs> Quick guys. I'm safe to look at it. Where's the Ice Rind Hatchet? Shit. Why am I... So there we go. Damn it! I just found it! Guys! Somersault attack. Somersault attack. Wait, why can't I summon the tenor? It's got the icon. I can't summon the tenor? Maybe you can only summon her in specific locations. Because, hang on. Oh no, hang on. Sorry, I've got 71 FP. I just don't have enough. <laughs> I'm just shy. Of FP, that's funny. So if I increase, I can increase my FP with this, like, temporarily. What did that increase it to? 75. Ah. Oh. But I'm... I'm not at full FP, am I? Silly me! So I'm increasing my... You know what I'm sick of? You know what I am genuinely sick and tired of? I'm sick and tired of enemies and their attack speed being the same or faster than me when they are a big enemy with a giant club and I can't attack them faster. <laughs> and that is not just an Elden Ring thing, that is a Souls thing. When you try and out, uh, when you try and outspeed an enemy in their attacks, it never fucking works, man. It never fucking works. It's ridiculous. We're in another location for us to explore later. Because at the moment we're heading here. Well, actually, now that I think about it. Ooh! Now that I think about it, that area might be where we need to go for the Glintstone Key, but I'm going to continue over here first. A bunch of FP scarabs in this area. That's interesting. That is a dragon. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's cool. I see what's going on here. So this is like a fight where it's like, you're gonna wanna use a lot of sorcery or FP to like deal with your enemy. And there's a lot of scarabs where you can keep replenishing your cerulean flask. At least it seems like that. Every time I look and turn around, the dragon is, like, moving on the ground. I hope my sword does damage. Glinstone Dragon Smar Smarog. Smarog. Holy fuck, it's been a while since we've had to go against a dragon. Oh god. That was a lot of health. Uh, I forgot how to fight dragons. Ah! Ah! To war! Okay, that's glinstone fire. Okay, has the same sort of attacks as Agil. <laughs> Let's fucking go, dude. Oh shit, that is different. Yep, that's different. That's crystal fucking missiles. Hey! Give your head. Dude! I fucking love this shit. So cool, man. Fuck! My sword was going right through the neck! Am 
my favorite thing was I'm like, all right, guys, we're going to go get a glinstone key over in this direction. <laughs> Turns out it's a fucking dragon. I accidentally marked a dragon on the map. This game is so magical. I don't know what that is. Okay, that was a stomp. Holy shit. I'm like, why are you taking so long without breathing crystal fire? Glinstone Dragon Smarag. <laughs> has it lost its no I spoke too soon I was like has it lost its fire like where is it what is it doing Great enemy felled. Goodbye, Smarag. Hell yeah. All oh, right, we've got a dragon heart. A new draconic power is available at the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. Fuck yes, dude. It's like, dra like, dragon fights on horseback is just like the perfect combination. I really fucking love that shit. I really love that. That's awesome. Alright. Dragon treasure? What was the dragon guarding? Our glinstone key. I was right. It's gonna be on this, uh, it's gonna be on this sorcerer's body. Dragon wound grease. Got more grease. Dragon wound grease. Solidified grease made from a mixture of gravel stones. Craftable item. Coats armament granting anti-dragon effects. When the dragons were born from their ancient kin, they lost their stone scales, which can now be used to cause them mortal harm. All dragons are scaleless. Yes, it's a key item. It's it's not a uh, single-use item. The Academy Glinstone Key. It does mention that it's an Academy Glinstone Key. So... Keeping in mind there have been multiple locations that we've found so far that have a similar magic seal, even over here. Um, so we're going to have to find maybe a different type of key. Because this one is specifically for the Academy. Key to the seals binding both gates to the Academy of Rhea Lucaria activates warp magic bound within the seals. A glinstone key will remember its user, meaning once used, it can never be passed on to another. The Academy does not welcome the indolent. Now, uh, Topes, that sorcerer that we found, wants a glinstone key. So we have an, we have a, an issue here. I, I don't know... If we give him the key, I could only assume that what that means is he would open up the barriers, right? To the academy. But do the barriers only open for him? Would they open for just anyone? Does it just let down the barriers? Or is it... I don't... I don't know. Uh, are we going to find another one? I also don't know. Um, that's, a, that's a tough choice. Especially when I'm trying to... Uh, when I'm actually trying to navigate multiple multiple quest lines uh, multiple quest lines at the same time to see um, how much story I can get on this first playthrough so it is it is a definitely a question that I'm asking myself there you are shall we commence the okay no updates from you because I probably have to buy stuff from you to actually do get something happening don't I okay it hmm I'm going to level up with those runes. I'm assuming we'll have an option to... Um, I'm assuming we'll have an option where it'll go, do you want to give... Uh, do you want to give him a... You know... You want to give him the glinstone key? 
Um, I kind of want to put a point into mind so I can have exactly 74 FP, which is exactly what is needed to summon Lieutenant. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put one point into mind, so I'm going to have three more FP. Uh, so now I can summon her. <laughs> um, I'm wondering if the FP cost goes up when you um, upgrade them. I don't think so, because Jellyfish Ashes is still cost 31, and it's a plus 3, so I think it's okay. So where is that NPC of ours? Because uh, he's at... He's here, right? This guy? Leonia Lakeshore? No, he's here. Church of Irith. Okay. Let's head to the Church of Irith. And we have a key. We have a glinstone key. I'm glad that I'm good at reading these map clues that have been dropped for us. So that's two where I've been able to piece it together on the map. Studying the map is a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun doing that kind of stuff. It's awesome. Um, let's have a look. I'm not sure if we're able to obtain another key. That's the thing. Because it, it was... This is the problem is... It says that it remembers its user. But what happens when the user dies? Because... Uh, obviously we've taken the, the key off a corpse. You know? Assuming that they've already used it before. Okay. Back to learn another. Back Wonderful. Learn another. You're most welcome to... Give the Academy Glenstone key. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, really, I really don't know. Because I, I feel like we might be able to get another one to give it to him. But if we give him our only one, which is our key into Rhea Lucaria, I I don't know. I don't know. That's a, that's a tough one. I need to I need to use the key for myself. I think maybe what I'll, what I'll do, because I fully intend on playing a magic-based playthrough, is maybe that's when I'll give full attention into the magic-based quest lines, or New Game Plus, or anything like that. I feel like that would be, you know, the time to do it. Ooh. Okay, we just walk right through when you examine the seal. You just walk right through it. There you go, because the key has the warp magic. All right. Okay. Okay, so we've just walked straight there. Holy shit. Maybe once we're done with our business, we can give him the key. But then at the same time, it's not going to... It won't do anything for him because it remembers its user, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know the log logistics of that. So we're just going to... We're just going to move on, I think. We'll just, we'll just move on. We're at the main academy gate now. And with that one, guys, we're going to bring this episode of Elden Ring to a close. So thank you so much for watching. It's been a very, very messy <laughs> and all over the place episode where we've gone back and forth. But we found some really cool stuff, got some more lore items, uh, really piecing together some more interesting stuff that's going on in this world and as always more notes more quests everything that's everything that's going down i've filled up my i've got pages falling out of here filled up my next page <laughs> down with all of my all of my notes where uh most recently we're talking about the uh the castle soul to obtain the other half of the medallion but uh we'll have to put a pin in that for now as we are finally at rea lucaria so we're going to be going through the academy next time. So thank you so much for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time.